G'day guys, Birch here, welcome back to the channel. I'm on a mission, I've got to take a photo of a fellow deer by the lake here. I've taken a couple and she said I'm not close enough. Which is a pain, let's try again. Oh, this camera when you zoom in. There it is there. Come on. Oh, I'm gonna have to get corn. I want it to walk over this way. Oh, stay in these bushes. Not a bad size one, it's probably a silver. I think it's four very easy though. And the wind should be good. Just in case. Right now these reeds are gonna be in my way, aren't they? There it is there. That won't do either. Come on in, little fella. You can take a photo and then I can shoot it. Be awesome. There's a sandbar there, I'm sure of it. That goes to that little island, so it should be able to walk all the way here. Oh, yeah, it's coming. Mission should be complete, right? That should be close enough. What's there? There it is there, I think. Right near the rock, is it? Yes. Alright, let's keep calling. Oh, wrong buddy call up. reeds. Oh my god. It's just there. Oh, it's, if it, once it walks through, we're done. Come on, come on. A bit more, buddy. Oh, I got it. We've completed the mission. Thank goodness. Now we can put a trusty old gun in my hand. Maybe go for a half shot. Beautiful. Wow, at least we got that dumb mission done. Now let's check this out. Alright, no consecutive harvest. And we do, still got a silver. So not too bad. Nearly a thousand dollars cash. And we hit it directly in the heart. Pretty happy with that. Look at that. Right in the heart there. Nice bloody um, fell idea really. That's not too bad. I didn't have my consecutive harvest that might have been a little bit better yeah, I'm pretty happy with that okay I got another one fellow deer out there somewhere in the fog just gave a call the wind is really good actually he won't be able to smell me at all I sort of hope he walks out of the bushes though he seems to be behind these bushes in front of me somewhere in here So he did give a call, so hopefully he gets on through those bushes. I don't keep calling on him. Because these things are sort of stubborn, fellow deer I've found. Especially the males. The females will come pretty much right away. But the males can tend to ignore you. I just want to come down this way so I can get a clear look through that there's a gap there in the bushes. And he might walk out that way. Now, i just done that um, mission. We just saw me do that mission. 
Then it told me to go to these windmills, which I have put a waypoint at, and take a photo. All right, let's just hit 5.15 because we can see tracks. A photo of a fellow deer in front of the windmills. And now it's telling me to go back and take a photo of a fellow deer in front of that lake that I just took a photo of. Back here. Look, there's, there's the hunting pressure with the one shot in the heart. I'll just hit the fellow deer. So sending me back there again. So my mission is stuck. So I'm not going to do that now. I was going to go and do a few missions today. But it's going to send me back to do one that I have just done. I'm not bothered. I just see footsteps. And this fellow deer might not come. Oh, there's no reason why he shouldn't. He can't smell me. I am wearing green, so hopefully you can't see me. I think it's just been a pain in the A. Believe it or not. I love the mornings here in Hirchfelden. Oh, look at that. Look at that mountain in the background there. I'm going to find my binoculars with the snow on it. Look at that. Pretty far away. All right, has this fellow idea moved? Is it just going to ignore me? Oh, it could be a bloody huge one. It's probably not, of course, but it could be bloody huge. No, I'm not calling pigs at the moment. Now, where am I? Just in case you are wondering, <laughs> I'm in Schoenfeld. So I thought I'd go up to there, to the windmills, and take a photo of a fellow deer, but that has now... Oh, so it's... Go back to... I've just done that one. You are crazy, game. So this is a really big area, which has a lot of paddocks in it. I'm sure a lot of people have got their goose set up around there. But I thought I'd have a look for some fellow deer today. Of course, we'll probably get a lot of road deer, which I'll try to ignore, lest they look okay. And hopefully the odd red deer and wild boar. No guarantees, though. Uh, I don't know what's going on. I'll stop recording for a tick and see if we can make this thing pop out. Just had a fox call. We've we got one over here. Where'd it go? There it goes up through that bush there. Can we? If you look over here, there's another one just sitting there. So we've got a fox rest zone right near that barn. They're both females. I'm not going to shoot at them. It's just... Nice to see two foxes very close to each other. The other one's going up there through the bush now. I need more powerful binoculars to see that. And this fellow deer is just ignoring me. I did have track over there, which was just now. So it is round. It might have gone to a zone, and that's why it's ignoring me. But that does happen. A nice foot popped out on this end. God, it's a good view along there. Any pigs or anything walk across there, you could zero in on really good, can you? And there's our fox friend still there, female camp. So it's travelling. It's not travelling, it is resting. And we've got another fox who just walked up through them. That bit of scrub there. Probably up over the hill. All right, let's get back onto this fellow deer. Okay, I've been following the male <laughs> fellow deer and calling it. Let's tracks go through there. It's on fresh now. It is trotted for some reason, even before I got near it. Now I've got a bunch of females coming in. Oh, there, there she goes. I think there's a couple of them. Yeah, there's more over there. Any males? Ah, oh, they're all females. So I could shoot either one of them in the back of the head and get a kill, but I don't really want to scare the male. So here's his tracks here. Between 82 and 100 kilos. So it could be a silver. Maybe. I'm not really sure the weight of these things. But I am in fellow deer country. And the males don't want to know about it. These females. Now I've done that. They'll probably come back at me. I was trying to get him to make a sound. So I can gauge how far away he is. 
Like he might have went to some sort of feed zone or rest zone. Like the females are just in there. So I've done that one call and they're going to follow me like pet dogs now for a little while until they realise what they're following. I'm surprised they can't smell me because now they're behind me. Although there is fog around. So the wind is very light, whatever wind we have. Let's check this. See fresh. We had just now very fresh and now fresh. So for some reason this male has just done a bolt on me and I didn't even get nowhere near it. I was probably looking at the foxes when it ran off. And it couldn't smell me. I wasn't moving so it didn't hear me. So he is on a mission. Which obviously doesn't include me. And you can see where his tracks are going. He's gone off down that way somewhere. Maybe down that ridge line or along there. His tracks are. Alright, we'll keep looking. Oh, I think we've caught up to him, believe it or not. Oh, look down here in the fog. Look at that. That'll be our boy. Oh, he teleported a bit then. Went for the old heart shot. Hopefully I've hit the lung. There seems to be a lot of blood. Oh, a bit of blood. It's got to be more than just a bloody flesh wound. After all that tracking, I probably aimed a bit high for the heart shot. But we do have a vital hit. Uh, and remember, I don't have my consecutive harvest, so, so I'm going to lose... Score no matter what, but he is down. I can see his silhouette down there. Successful tracking. Be interested to see how far I track this. It'd have to be at least four Ks. Nah, he, you know, he could be silver. It's not huge. Got a fat gut on it though. Look at that. That ain't good. It's a bronze actually. Wow. Okay, we no, we only tracked it one K. Seemed longer than that. Let's check this map. Right, long left lung. Oh, I hit it twice. So there we go. The second shot did pay off. Pretty damn good. I enjoy when I get that in. Uh, let's accept it. And let's want to look at my map. Now, I came here. I walked along here. It was probably around here I saw him. I think it was a bit longer than a K, but hey, I'll wear that. Okay, I've got another fellow deer in front of me somewhere here. It's called a few times. I've had to come all the way up the hill. Because it won't come down. It's through them bushes somewhere. Right in there. I just don't know where. Dare not move through there at the moment. It's going to make a lot of noise. Right, there is a slight wind. You can see his tracks. He's been walking around up here. I actually heard his footsteps. He got close to me down there. Then he came back up. I've been spraying myself. I'm hearing more footsteps. Where is it? Now it sounds like it's down there. I just walked around. Oh, there it is, there it is. Alright, uh, got a nice spine shot in. So I eventually got him. He actually walked around. He did nearly come down. I was back down in that gully where we shot the last one. Uh, this ain't tiny. But it's silver because me. Consecutive halves has come up to 80%. I've got a nice spine shot and he looks pretty good. Just a bit small. Big body, small antlers. Okay, I've just come back from a drink break and I've got footsteps around me. <laughs> I don't know if it's a fellow deer, I'm just guessing. What the hell is it? Where is it? Can you hear something walking? And both these male fallow deer have come through this path. So it might be a track they use to get to a feeding ground or something. And they're coming through here. Maybe then they off go off down the lake. Oh man, it is 
getting close, whatever it is. Can you hear that on YouTube? Those footsteps? Oh, I better spray up, man. The wind's bouncing around like crazy. I think I might have seen what we're looking for. There it is there. Something moved through that bush. It's a bloody female. I can get my consecutive harvest up. Alright, we'll grab her and I'll be at a hundred percent. And I might walk down the lake. This is really fellow deer country around here. It's all I've seen. I have heard a roe deer and we saw those foxes earlier. We're every other animal is a fellow deer. There we are, one hundred percent consecutive harvest. Fantastic. I've just had another male call over there somewhere. It is probably with these females. But it'll be way behind them, I bet you. They'll get here before he does. I had, I just shot the gun, like, I don't know, two minutes ago. So that female must have been part of this herd. It's a little hot spot for an old fellow deer around here. Oh, there he is. I just saw the antlers. Now the wind's going across, so they shouldn't smell me. Right, another bloody female. Go away. Don't get too close. Let the male come in. She's a nice looking one, though. Oh, there he is. There he is. He snuck up on me. Any other males? No, just him. Oh, he's coming right in. All right, we've got him down, no worries. It's a bit of a difficult shot when they're running like that, but I didn't want him to get too close. So we fixed his little red, wa <laughs> red wagon. We're going to keep heading down towards the lake. They seem to be pushing up through there, so... There he is, another little one. Could be silver, since I've got the 100% consecutive harvest now. Yeah, and we get $1,052. Three very easy, and we hit him right in the thoracic spine. Let's check that shot. That bullet come down. Bang. You are gone. Pity I didn't bring a bow and arrow. I tried to fit one in, because I've got the magnum. I mean, it's a bit heavy. That's <laughs> what's left of those females. Come down to near this tower... Usually that's a good indication there should be some animals around. I think I've got one coming in. Oh, there it is there. I could hear that. I just didn't want it to run into me. I'm hoping a few males pop out here. Like, you don't really need the tower. You can just sit up here on the rock. And you're a female calling. Not really what I want. I wish they'd go away. I could have shot one of their friends, the male... And one of the females before that, and they're still hanging around. So I'm going to sit up here and see if I can call a male or two in. It's a nice little area, because they can come out of here. I like that scrub, male fellow deer. And this could be a little little spot worth checking out. I've had it back down near the river here on my way to the lake. I was hanging around that area with the tower, but the females wouldn't go away. And I've walked down this way because of the wind. I scared a couple of males off. They smelt me before I even really... I just saw their antlers running off. I've got one in here who just called. And hopefully he'll come out for us. Let's have a look where we are on the map. We're right here on the river. So I was heading back here. Trying to do that photo thing again, which I've already done. Might as well do it again. Since I'm hunting fellow deer today, if I just stick around this area, that's what I should get. Apart from foxes and roe deer, which I am totally ignoring. I didn't see the wind's blowing across, so he shouldn't smell me. It's just a matter of if he comes or not. Because if I step out of here, he's going to see me real bad. At least I'm in a bit of green here. I can't 
can't see anything. And he might not want to walk out in this clear area here. You know, fella deer alike. If I see him walk across there, I could take a shot. Oh, well, we'll just wait and see what happens. Oh my god, he came out. He just bolted out. There he is, not a bad one either. Oh yeah, nice hard shot. Wow, I'm a bit worried about taking that shot. I didn't want him to get too close because look, I was just there. Easily seen. He seemed to be looking straight at me. Oh, he's in a puddle, a little bugger. Right, let's have a look at it. Oh, silver, I'd say. It is silver for 1,051. We hit it in the heart and the left lung. It's not a bad shot, really. Three, very easy. All right, we're going to move over to that lake now and just see if we can get another photo again. Okay, I heard some footsteps. I follow the track. I had it just now, my fellow deer. And there he is. He's not big. Oh, didn't lead that shot too good. Oh, that's sort of damage we've done. That was the worst shooting all day. Not to worry. Bound to happen. A lot of blood, though. Did go for near the back of the spine. I'll probably hit the lung. That's why I usually go up around that area. In case if I miss the spine shot, you can get the lung. That looks like he's run off this way. Let's see what this is. Oh, 50 to 75. Now I moved away from the lake. There was no nothing down there at all. Like I've already taken a photo. The game has won this time. I won't try that again till another time. There he is. He is down. So I've headed back to the area where we originally got those few males. Where did I hit him? Ah, oh, the scapula, but then the second shot got the lung. So I'm very lucky with that. Nice follow-up shot. Then the third shot was a bad one. Okay, I've moved down near the river. I've got a whole bunch of females around me, but there is a male. That's him there. He's not very big. I'll give him another call. I have to watch how far he comes along. He will smell me eventually. As the wind's going, I'll oh, just give a quick spray. Can't hurt, can it? Oh, we, that's him, is it? Is that him out there? A lot of females. Damn, they're everywhere. Oh, there he is. He is tiny. He will be a bronze, <laughs> I'd imagine. And they're going to get closer and closer. Oh, look how sus he is. He's not sure, is he? Nice back of the head shot. Let's go pick him up. Oh, we've moved in the Spreeberg. Man, I have moved around today. Let's look on the map. Oh, only just in the Spreeberg there. Wow, oh, we. Sort of down the bottom end of it. Oh, let's pick this little bugger up. He is tiny, isn't he? Look at that. No, he's silver for 1,049. Upper neck, jaw, and skull. So I missed the brain. Not a problem. Snapped his neck instead. Okay, I've moved to a tower. And these females have come up to me twice. And they keep coming back. What I did spot in the back there, look at that. That's a male. 
Now these females, they're going to get close enough to freak out again. He's holding back. There he is. See his antlers coming down. And that could be the best one of the day. 82 to 100 kilos. Oh, we got one like that already. They all seem to be about similar size today or smaller. And a ton of females. Now we've got a tower down there. That's why I came here. Thinking there might be a zone or two around. Like seriously, today I've seen one zone fellow deer and we saw that earlier zone for the foxes. Well, where are all my zones gone? What is going on with this game? Ooh, how far is he? Probably about 100 metres. Probably a bit less. Oh, good, good. The females have walked back. I'm going to give one more call on this to try and get him out. Just a tad more. I don't want to overdo it because the females will rush me. Yep, they're coming back. They are like puppies. It's not a bad one, really. That's it. Keep whoa, he went sideways. That's not bad. Oh, back of the head shot. <laughs> all right, we got him. They've all run off. Thank goodness. Had I had a bow and arrow today, I would have made a ton of money just out of females because they just keep coming back. They are totally crazy. Oh, I thought I'd do a video today on fellow deer. I've only ever done one before. So I think they sort of deserve it. Oh, I didn't mean to pick him up. There we go. He is three very easy, 1,062. Virtually the same shot as the last one we just done on the other one in the head. And he doesn't look too bad. Silver. No gold today. So I'm going to end the video there, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Well, I enjoyed hunting them. They're a bit underrated. I think I've underrated these animals a bit and haven't overhunted them. So there we go. My second video on fellow deer. Well deserved, too. Okay, guys. Thanks for dropping by. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll catch you on the next one.